Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Catalea and I thought I would do a quick little tutorial on how I do my makeup for my transitions, which includes like my base makeup, like how do I do like my foundation, my contour, my um, concealer, and also like the eyeshadows or the lip combos or anything that I put on my cheeks. So without further ado, let's get into it. <music> So if you have already seen my last video, then you know that I do a quick little trick to make my, ma my makeup last a little bit longer. And that starts with a um, moisturizer. So I'm just going to put this everywhere. And then I go on, well, I'm going to let it dry a little bit. Then I go over it with my... SPF primer Okay, now I'm going to let that dry for a little bit, then I will put on my setting spray. And since it's still summertime, I'm going to use my summer foundation. I call it my summer foundation. It has SPF in it, and it's also like my summer skin tone. And I'm going to get it all over my brush. And I just kind of dab it into my skin, like I push it into my skin versus like dragging it. So now that that is all spread out, I like to go back in with my beauty blender and just make sure that I really press it into the skin. Next, I use my concealer. And I use my concealer brush and I just blend this this to the side of my nose to contour my nose and also under my eye and right I don't know what this I want to say it's my eyebrow bone but I'm not quite sure just right up here just to kind of give you like an angled look I know that kind of looks a little crazy. I do. So now that I did my under eye, I go in with my concealer, I mean my contour, and I just start where my ear is and kind of bring it to about where my eye ends. Okay. 
and I actually use a beauty blender for this part and I just kind of blend this right on out. So I'm actually going to use a different part of the beauty blender, like this little tip, and I'm going to blend this part out as well. So it just doesn't look nearly as stark. Now that I've done that part, I move on to the eyes. So for this one, I was going to do, so I'm going to do this purple and this silver. I'm going to use the purple on the outside of my eyes and the silverish white on the inside. I'm going to use the white on the inside. Okay. I know it looks crazy, but trust me, I'm going to blend it out. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, so I guess I have to use a darker color, so I guess we'll do the silver to this black. And then I kind of blend this on out. Don't worry, I'll clean this part up. Kind of like this silverish ombre. I'm sorry, it's like really. I'm gonna clean it up with concealer, but this is the gist. I'm actually gonna go do the other eye and clean this eye up, and I will be right back. Okay, so you should end up with something kind of like this so the black on the outside and the silver on the inside. And then I'm really, I didn't plan on it, but I guess I'm going for a more gothic look. So I have a red lipstick which i'm sure you guys already know and i think i'm gonna forego the blush and kind of go for a more deeper um contour so let me find that stick and just so you know i'm kind of creating this on the fly i was not planning on creating this on the fly it's just kind of what happened And just blend this right on out. And now we will use the red lipstick and then I will change and I will be right back to show you like the, oh, and to take this down to show you the final look. I'll be right back. Actually, just to make sure that I explained the eyes perfectly, so I used like a small black and I just did like half my eyelid and brought it up to make a wing. And I just really packed it in this area. Then I used another brush and I went in with that silver right on the inner corner to the halfway mark 
and I really packed that in so it really will look crazy it's gonna look like a really white glittery here and a really dark black here there is glitter in the black but you can't really see it and then I go in with a separate brush I know this one really looks dark at this point but it wasn't at first and I just kind of do like zigzags right above where they meet to make like the ombre look okay sorry hopefully that explained it a whole lot better um and now I'm gonna put on the red lipstick change my shirt and do my hair and then I'm going to show you what the final look looks like because I'm trying to tr keep this video as short as possible um simply because it's supposed to be like a quick and easy makeup tutorial it's not supposed to be like super hard super in-depth and this is like for a transition so you will end up seeing the um the final look like the in the whole transition so I will be right back all right, so I couldn't find my black lip liner, which I know is somewhere around here because I just saw it yesterday. So I'm gonna use this black lipstick and the red lipstick, and we're gonna make an ombre. So I'm gonna use the very tip of this and Sorry if I'm not like explaining it. I'm really trying to focus so I don't mess this up because this black is really pigmented. As you can see, I did it a whole lot thicker on that side. So much. Trying to match that thickness. Okay. Now before that dries, because this is a that black's matte. Cut in at the red. I did not mean to make this. I didn't mean to make it so dark, but I guess it kind of goes with the look I wish I had like a like a gothic shirt but we will switch shirts and then I will be right back okay and this is the final look this is with my hair down it um I had it in heatless curls last night and the shirt It's just, I wasn't planning on doing the gothic look. I was trying to use that purple to match this shirt, but it did not work out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time or in my next short. Uh, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.